Hi there, thank you so much for watching my videos and also subscribe to my channel to get more tips on how to rewire the brain. Now this is part two of how to stop blushing. And the reason for this second video is there's something I've mentioned in that first video which I didn't elaborate on or didn't emphasize. If you missed the first video, that link will be in the description. Now there's something that we have to keep in mind and there's two elements when it comes to blushing. The first one is the biological process of neural pathways that needs to be rewired. The second part is subconscious beliefs, self-beliefs that we harbor that we might not be aware of. Now let's look at the first part. To rewire the brain takes time. It takes consistency and repetition. Research have indicated that rewiring a thought pattern or a neural pathway takes between 60 or 80 consecutive days. Some mention that it might take up to 10,000 repetitions. Now I'm not saying that it will take you 10,000 times, but I do want to emphasize that it's not a quick fix. You are not going to rewire your brain in an instant on one or two tries. It's going to take time and repetition. If I can use an analogy, if you ever went hiking or you know, for a walk in the field somewhere, you will see that there's a footpath. Now that footpath has been walked by many people many times. So you can see where that footpath leads. You can, however, walk straight into the bushes walk your own footpath, but tomorrow when you want to repeat that same footpath, you're not going to find it. It's going to take time, many times, for you to walk that new route, for it to become a footpath. Now the same with our thought patterns or neural pathways. It, it's like a tree. If you keep watering that tree, it's going to keep on growing and become stronger. However, if you stop watering that tree, it's going to eventually die down. Now the same with our mind and our thoughts. If you have been blushing for most of your life, it's a very strong neural pattern that's been repeated and imprinted many, many times. Now the brain uses a principle called, it always follows the path of least resistance which means if there's a very strong pattern in your brain, it's going to follow that pattern because it's been there and been imprinted for such a long time. So you need to find ways to start redirecting those thoughts. Now, what are those thoughts? Things like, I'm going to blush. Please don't blush. Please stop get turning red. And that's the pattern that we keep on repeating and sends the same signals to the body or to the face to then turn red. So it's going to take time to start rewiring that thought. The second element is our beliefs that we start have to start noticing. There's a reason why we blush. The moment that you walk into a crowd or when someone calls out your name, there's a fear-based thought or belief that gets triggered. And you need to identify what is that belief. It could be um, I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I don't fit in. I'm not pretty enough. People think I'm stupid. People think I'm poor. People think I'm an idiot. Whatever that might be, there's a belief. And the belief triggers negative thoughts. And the thoughts triggers the biological reaction, which is blushing. So I want to share with you another technique that you can use in conjunction of redirecting your thoughts, like I mentioned in my first video. Instead of saying, I'm turning red, give the brain uh, instruction it doesn't understand. I'm turning blue. And the more you do it, the more the brain gets confused because you can't turn blue. And then it will stop that biological process. However, you need to identify what is being triggered in that moment. And then you start working on that belief. Now, there's a technique that I want, like I said, I want to share with you. It's called EFT or tapping. Um, it's a technique that's come a very long way. There's a lot of research done around that technique as well. 
If you want to go and look at their website, it's called um, thetappingsolution.com and you will find tapping techniques for many things. But I would like you to go and look for videos that says tapping for negative beliefs, tapping for self-image. And then you start working on those subconscious beliefs. So I really hope that this video elaborates a bit more on the complexity of the brain and to use new techniques or new thought patterns is not going to happen in one or two days. It's going to happen with repetition. Now this worked for me very well. I can't remember the last time that I blushed, I promise you. And I was someone that blushed on a daily basis. So much so I avoided conversations because of it. So I've worked a lot on that and now it doesn't happen. So the one day when I realized that I've, you know, this was a victory for me was in an instance where something happened or someone spoke to me and my face turned hot. But there was a mirror close by and I saw myself, my reflection in the mirror and I saw that I wasn't turning red. So even though it felt like I was blushing, I was getting hot, my face wasn't red. So then I realized, but this is victory. It worked. I thought I was blushing, but I wasn't. I was turning hot. So a few times after that, even though my face went warm, I ignored it. And now it completely disappeared because I no longer run that same neural pathway saying to myself, I'm turning red, I'm blushing, please don't blush. It no longer happens. So I really hope that you will go and do the work, keep on repeating, you will get to a point where you no longer blush if you truly are committed to changing this part that is maybe ruining your life. Good luck on your journey to stop blushing. If you struggle on your own to use these techniques, you are welcome to book a coaching session with myself and I'll personally take you through that process. See you in the next video.